Can you juggle those turns? <laughs> What's he done to the air fryer? I don't know. I've been doing it wrong all this time. So that smells nice, and that smells yeah. nice. I can't wait to eat this now. Hi guys, welcome back to our cooking episode. Um, here with Clifton, and we're going to make some more recipes for you today. Yeah, so today what we um, were doing is a street food recipe. Well, call it street food, but basically it's um, a Jamaican recipe. Jerk chicken, uh, or jerk style chicken, and rice and peas. Plus we're going to do some uh, potato f um, chunky fries with um, co coconut dips. Coconut yeah. Coconut dip. So the Dairy V um, coconut dip with the Coconut Collaborative Natural Yogurt. And we're just using like recipes or ingredients just that you're going to find in any supermarket, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you're going to show us how to do it. You're going to teach me how to make this dish. This is your dish. Yeah, I'm going to teach you the, the secrets and even let you in on a few secrets of um, what ingredients Jamaican use, you know. Um, you, can, you can actually call yourself a Jamaican chef or this is organic style cooking. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Basically, <laughs> chicken, potatoes, veg, fresh, all bodybuilding, health conscious, friendly. So, yeah. Sounds good. And then what's the first step then? Okay, so the first step is to get all your ingredients, um, mise en place, so prepped. Um, so we've got all our ingredients on the table, what we need. Um, and the first thing we'll do is basically marinate the chicken. In, in all the seasonings and we rest that for, for a few minutes in, on one side then we'll start to prepare the chunky fries and the rice and peas Can you juggle with those potatoes? Yeah, sure With three? Three, no, three is difficult <laughs> <laughs> uh, So what we should start with first is marinated chicken so we'll need um, some oil, olive oil Firstly, it could be a dry marinade if you wanted to. Yeah. I've got cumin. Can you make your own jerk you can. spice? Once yeah. you find out what the spice is on it, can I make it dry? That's a jerk. Yeah. That's a dry one, you've got a wet one as well. Because sometimes, like obviously when you're in prep and stuff, I look on the back of stuff and that, like, because there's added sugar to this obviously. Mm. But I used to like look at the main ingredients of like a spice seasoning and then like add individual ones to make my own seasoning without the sugar. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Is that yeah. a bit OCD? I don't know. But like when I was prepping, it's like you're trying to reduce carbs and stuff. I used to yeah. just make my own seasonings but that way. It's better so, as well because you're making everything from scratch, yeah. you're making everything really fresh. Yeah. Um, and you, you're using uh, basically um, ingredients that you know hasn't got any kind of, you know, but just for like ease when you're off season, this is cool, right? Yeah, um, yeah. Just looking at the back of it, but basically, it's it's just about how much you use as well. Um, this is not going to harm you in, in in any way. I don't think it's got anything that's going to harm even your physiques because I've, I've, I use them for even throughout my prep. But anyone yeah. that's on, anyone can use it. Bodybuilders, any type of can use these these things as well. But just be use it sparingly. Don't like go go overboard. Yeah. The same thing that you would use with, um, is it salt and pepper? Well, salt anyway. Yeah, I, I you... measure out my salt every day, I have 10 grams a yeah. day. Everything's got salt in it. Yeah. That smells really nice, that one. And it's only mixed herbs, but it smells really strong. Yep, so. Yeah. Okay, let's check in. Again, I'd just like to mention, I just want to mention anyway, um, but you can you can take my advice or not. Um, just. Basically, slow down and keep everything like really simple, um, and you can't really, you can't go wrong, uh, and just build from there. Do you tend to go for regular chicken or organic? I sometimes treat myself to organic. I always go for organic, <laughs> unless you know if you got if you're on like a budget. Yeah. Then that's a, you know you're gonna get some that uh, you're gonna you can't get organic because it's more expensive. Yeah. <coughs> For, for me, um, it depends as well, so these chicken breasts will cook really quickly and it depends on how much the weight of the chicken to what seasoning do you, that you might need, but even if you have like a massive, massive like a whole chicken, again you don't need as much, you don't need as much, you probably need um, one teaspoon each, one teaspoon each, so for sure, for example, I say this, uh, 
They had quite a big spoons with that. So, if I say, I think that, it's just for an example anyway. Because if I poured it in, don't know, and you're going to marinate it over like a few. And it depends on what seasoning you're using. So it's like, some seasoning you could put more or less, this is herb spices, you can put a little bit more in if you wanted to. Yes, there's no calories in that basically, is there? There's basically no calories in that. Whereas your jerk so, seasoning or something else that's got the sugar in, you put, you that, put like a little bit that little. So, yeah. Um, so again, um, this, I, you know, use a smaller spoon, things like that. Just be aware, and be, um, aware of your, your surroundings and stuff. All sorts, I suppose, you have to be, you know, what, what you're using, look what's in it. If there's um, too much sugar, too much sodium, and things like that, calories. So you just watch how you use it. And again, you don't need um, something to taste overpowering, like the cumin to overpower everything else. So all sorts of taste, you'll put less in because you don't want it to taste the cumin, you just want like a hint of cumin in it. A hint of cumin, but cumin is also a good fear as well. Um, it's an anti-inflammatory, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and turmeric. So, so this is, so. Well, turmeric is as well, but it's like a similar family to the spices, isn't it, I think? Yeah, um, yeah. They, they're, they're all um, what they're, they're, they're derived from natural um, um, trees and plants and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so if you, if it's, plant-based basically it's good for you um, so yeah and as well you would need too much chicken as well yeah um, yeah. Uh, yeah so so but with this one um, get my rice right. with this one again you do it sparingly again you just need you don't need a lot because um, if you're thinking I want to taste more jerk I want to taste more jerk all you do then is just <laughs> do a sound like then <laughs> <laughs> all you do then is just <laughs> all you did is add salt, so you just had like a pinch of salt and a trick to that is also get um, ginger as well. Different things will bring bring the spices out. Oh really? So like a bit of salt brings out the seasonings? Bit, bit of salt and a bit of sugar. Okay. But you don't want to add sugar either. Because no. Just, you know what I mean? So yeah. just add salt. It's okay off season, but obviously we're on crap. Yeah, no one would know what this tastes like, wouldn't no. it? So if I put, punch it full of like, salt and stuff, I don't know what it tastes and again it's just for marinating purposes the longer you leave these this to marinate the more infused all the spices will become inside like you know so we're not going to leave it for, for very long anyway but it's just, it's just for an example to show you this you can also add to but this I'm going to add to the um, add to the rice we can have this if you want to so where can you find these um, how do you pronounce it pimento seeds yeah pimento seeds you can find them in any as um, large as the chain or large um, Tesco's or Sainsbury's, but I think it's it's not called street food or it's called, it's called um, like, world food. Is it world food? Yeah, yeah. World food? yeah. yeah. I don't look down there. I could find. I need your help. If yeah. you knew where they were. You can find yeah. them there, or if if or if that fails, you can go to any um, like Caribbean stores, yeah. food stores. Um, they always have imports. Uh, you can go to any. Um, any Asian food stores as well, and they would guarantee have those herbs and spices if you can't find them, you know. Uh, as that. So we marinated that. So where did you learn to cook like this, like these types of recipes? Your mom or? It's just growing up having yeah. when we always we were always interested in watching to see what your mom's cooking, and you'd see them adding the, the different things. Well, and jerk is like one of our favourites. Yeah. I have your mum's a good cook. She makes good cake, I've tasted it. <laughs> Definitely. Right, okay. Yeah. So, uh, so, so once that's marinated, in. we'll cover it, but we'll add... This is basic, this is what's called... To help it to infuse a bit more, you would add just a little bit of wetness on, onto it. Basically some oil. Right, um, these as well, you add, say, two sticks. Whoa. <laughs> you can add two sticks as well for that. Do you want me to? I can assist you, though. No? I can, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to put the thyme in there? Just two sticks, yeah? Yeah. yeah. So you put that in there, um, and then we're going to move on to the vegetables in a minute. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'd just like to mention as well, in between, obviously, cooking, raw, handling raw chicken, um, you should always like wash your hands in between. That's, that's 
just as basic hygiene, but you don't want to cross contaminate any other foods as well and get ill by, um, Ill by it. So I was with Japan. The next thing is we move on to chunky fries. How to do some wonderful chunky fries. I'll show you the easy way, very easy way. Don't bother peeling it. We'll just square it off. So say as you're cutting your fingers, you always have a flat surface each time when you put the knife behind your fingers. That's a professional chef's knife, I think. Yeah. Uh, that's just squaring it off right like that. Right there. I'm looking forward to these now. I'm getting hungry again. We'll do all four of them, so that just... Yeah. You know, so I'm we'll always hungry. I think this is just, this is your meal, isn't it? Four potatoes. <laughs> This is one meal for you. For me. <laughs> so we've worked out that I'm currently on more carbs than Clifton on off season. So I'm on about 350 to 400 gram a day. What are you on? Um, well, at the moment I'm on 300. <laughs> That's only because I have, you know, what I'm always eating kind of like going off prep. Yeah, so, so I don't have many off plan meals, do I? No, you don't. Until today, until. Dad cooking things, but yeah, you have lots of treats. Yep. So I suppose you've got to make a decision there, right? Whether you want to have off plan meals or just stay on like a plan all the time and eat really clean all the time. What? Well, where your calories come from? I eat for a purpose, though, so my purpose has to always have a balance. So I have to have like um, nothing's extreme, so no, I don't go from one extreme to the next or from one scale of the extreme to the next. Mine has to have a balance where I can go and eat out with friends and family. Mm -hmm. And also for my sanity as well. Um, just have a normal life. Yeah. But I mean, if you want to be like um, hardcore, then sure, just eat all clean. But because some people think that's going to be more healthy and that's what makes makes it healthy, but it's about calories in, calories out mm -hmm. of it, so. Yeah. But I've, I've, well, we're both doing cardio now anyway, in off season, aren't we? So yeah. we're both looking to compete next year. So, I'm looking forward to having another pose down with you next year, don't you? Yeah, hopefully this time will be bigger, I'll be bigger. And then because I'll be bigger. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to jerk the fries. Yeah. Now? Do you want to do that? Have a look. Right, yeah. Let's test your skills. Um, portion it's, skills. It's up, it's up to you, just like, what do you think is healthy? Well, probably, we'll see what, we'll have to, it's just a curtain, right? Yeah. So I think. You don't need much for fries. Anymore. No, just a little bit of that, yeah. and then because that's got sugar in it, and then like a tablespoon of the mixed herbs as well, right? Yeah. And then just you put your cumin as well. And um, don't cumin. Can well. do. Okay. I've got a lot of um, spice and herb in mean, it. Makes everything just taste better. Yeah. Or oh, olive oil or. Put some oil yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes like, I use coconut oil as well in the air fryer. Yeah. Either way, really, isn't it? Yeah. Because it, dr it dries it off anyway, yeah. so it doesn't really matter. Don't you have to go overboard. Uh, make sure it's pretty, either, it's pretty evenly as well, because you might get some. So, air fryers, like, they're obviously quite trendy at the moment. So, um, I've got mine here with me today, which is a tea file out to fry. Have you got one at home as well? I do, I think I've got this. Is it the same one? I've got the exact same one. Have you? No, yeah. wait, really? So we're just going to put these in here, yeah? Yep. How long are we going to have them in here for? Maybe like 20 minutes? Um, I'd say probably 30 minutes, but it's yeah. 20 minutes at a time. Put it in for 20 minutes, yeah. but check every 5 minutes and always turn it. Keep, like, keep turning it. So should we put 20 minutes, 20 minutes on that? Yeah. So the next thing would be... Always mise en place, press prep all your, um, your ingredients and stuff. But we're going to be rice, rice and peas. We've just gone for normal uh, plasmatic. Yeah, yeah. 200. Um, so back out are the foldable scales from Joseph Joseph. Love these, don't <laughs> So are we going to put it straight into the pan? Yeah. 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 We'll put 200 in. Yeah. We can always use it later. Uh, then we'll just wash it. Um, 
Yeah. And as well, um, everyone always say, well, how much water you did put on it? Um, it's just so it covers the rice. See, about this much of the rice, and that should be enough. It's yeah. like it doesn't go too soft, soft or too dry um, on that. And for that, we'll add some pimento. So what's uh, this? What are they like? What do they taste like? Are they... We don't eat them. It's, oh, no. it's pure. Yeah, yeah it's just, flavoring. It's just for the the, yeah. the flavor, and they smell like the like uh, aromatic. Yeah, aromatic, yeah. Aromatic. Like almost like licorice just or something like that. Yeah. Uh, and you can chop some um, spring so onions. So this is going in the rice then? That's, yeah. yeah, that's all good. This is all going into the rice. Uh, again, we're trying to be authentic. Yeah. So, <laughs> trying to be authentic. So is this your favourite type of dish to cook? Let's have um, Jamaican or have we got other ones as well? Um, I've got like curry goats. Like, um, I love curry goats as yeah. well. Um, Maybe we'll do that next time. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we'll do that. We're gonna learn some good cooking. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I come off a show, I always want like chili. I don't know why. Yeah. What do you have after a show? You have cake, right? Well, I, I <laughs> had your cake actually last time. Jamaican oh, cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I sometimes go to a, um, like a, I have burger, burgers and chips. Yeah. For some reason, every bodybuilder have burgers and chips all the time. And I have chili. I'm, I'm no different. <laughs> I just have my burgers and chips. I love my burgers and chips. I'm a simple person. <laughs> burgers and chips, and it always, it never fills me, but it just hits the spot for yeah. some reason. Yeah. That and then we we'll also had adding um, some red kidney beans as well. Bodybuilders will know they they love this kidney beans. You, you know, you know. So like this is also healthy. Yeah, it's yeah. Healthy it's good well. for good fibre in there. It's yeah. got lots of vitamins protein. and proteins. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. Let's drain the water off because it probably has some salt in it. You can. So that's kidney beans in with the rice. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here's what we prepared earlier. <laughs> We're gonna cook it in um, coconut oil. So we've got Vita Coco coconut oil that I found in Holland Barrow. So the good thing about coconut oil is that it doesn't burn at a high temperature, so you don't get carcinogenics on there. Yeah. And it's obviously got um, good chain fats in there as well, so it's just like healthy for you. Yeah, it is. Um, most people think it's not though, don't they? They mm. think um, olive oil, olive oil. I don't, yeah. know, I don't know why that is. I don't know. But sunflower oil is, is quite good for you as well, and that burned out. Yeah. I always use this. This one smells, do you know what? This one smells really, really coconut. I know that's obvious, it does. It, it smells nice though. It right? smells like high quality. You can use this on your body as well. Yeah, this is a body to know anyway, you know what I mean? So we're going to get, um, put the chicken in the pan, fry this off, we've got the chips in the air fryer, yep. we've got the rice in here, I'm just going to turn that up a little bit. How long do we need to cook the rice for? Um, so for the rice to cook really easy, what we do is get it up to temperature, mm -hmm. once it starts um, bubbling, boiling, boil that's on. when you just put the lid on and yep. turn the temperature down to the slightly same amount and we'll just cook. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, because this burns at a high temperature, you can turn the pan up really, really high, mm -hmm. and that's that. Well, that's how chefs cook anyway. You could, like you make it really, really hot. Yeah. And then that's when you place the chicken in. Place it away from you so it doesn't burn or anything. Oh really? Burn. Oh, burn you. So it doesn't burn. Okay. Burn, yeah. I see. I like. It does not make a difference to the chicken how you place it in. Oh no, it's just. <laughs> Just so that, you're, so that you're not burning yourself or anything, you know. Um, that does look really nice. Have you seen that? So that smells nice, and that yeah. smells nice. I can't wait to eat this now. Be you know what I'd like to do as well? Yeah. Um, so, because uh, you, you mentioned as well. It's really good for it. Yeah, let's get some in there, yeah. So it's going to add a little bit of time in there. So we've put some of the beet cocoa. Coconut oil in both pans, uh, a bit of thyme in there as well, just to infuse it, right? Yeah. Okay. Put the lid on there. Okay, so how long will you cook this for each time? Do you just leave it? No. Um, so 
I said before, you put like say a minimum of like just to wet the pan with oil and you turn it off to the max so it's really really yeah. start searing hot and you leave each side to, to burn, sorry, to brown for two minutes each side or a minute and a half yeah. and then you flip them just to brown them because you're going to put them in the oven afterwards oh, okay. um, so to keep them moist, you don't want them to be cooking on the pan because you want to keep the inside, inside moist but you don't keep it at a high temperature for too long because you're burning it on the outside but they're not cooking the inside so you start to put that's our tips for cooking the chicken. Yeah, so that's good. Now <laughs> I know. I've been doing wrong all this time. That's why I didn't like chicken so much, but now I know. Yeah. But the experts tell me. Yeah. Um, so we flip it. This hasn't turned up enough, but you know. So it's turned up enough. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to cook it. We're not cooking. You know what? That was like really like tasty, like buttery. I always wonder how they did this in restaurants, but now I know. Yes. Yeah. I, so you can hear it now, that's how it should sound, really sizzly and not for long, you just leave it for a minute just to brown and then you take them off, place it in the oven and you place it in the oven for about 15 minutes, no no longer. For this size chicken it will take 15 minutes to cook, um, but you don't turn it up to a high temperature, you want it on a low enough heat so it's just in the inside, it's not going to just burn on the outside. You see it's sizzly? Yeah. Um, probably need a plate in a minute just to put it on. What I just had earlier. Yeah. So what we do now is we're going to line the um, tray with greaseproof paper. Yeah. Parchment paper and then we're going to... Place the stove on. Place the chicken on there. There you go. So this is to cook it in the middle basically. You browned it off in the pan. Browned it in the pan. Yeah. We've been doing it wrong all this time. The quickest way really to cook it is in the you know already in the air fryer, air fryer. and it just cooks inside yeah. out you know that really because it's just like seals it seals the flavors in as well yeah we'll but, put this in the oven now yeah. so middle of the oven um this is a 275 at the moment is that all right um a bit less yeah you can turn it down now 200 200 um 200 is fine yeah Cool. So if this is still cooking the rice. Yeah, you might want to put a timer on about 15 minutes to leave them in 15 minutes. Right. Um, so everything's cooking. Right, so we're going to make a salsa now. So we're going to make yeah, a, a little salsa. Um, so these, what, what ingredients we've got left. So we've got on, we've got some onions and we've got some tomatoes. Mm -hmm. So we're going to like de the, the tomatoes. Yeah. And um, Is that so it's not really water in it basically? Yeah, take the water. I feel like I'm a proper cooking lesson here. <laughs> I didn't know how to do this. I was saying I'm going in it is starring food technology when I'm yeah. you know, whatever. It's age. so easy though, don't you find 18. every eighty percent of like say bodybuilders still eat dry food without even seasoning it. Yeah. They even know what to how to do it. Yeah. yeah. But maybe that's like why we need you to teach us yeah. on how to do it. Teach us teach the secrets. Yeah. It's stuck to it's literally stuck to the bottom of it. I'll leave the chef into you. Uh, you're helping though, that's perfect. I'm not, apparently. Um, you don't want prep. Yeah. Do you eat um, what type of do you eat a variety of foods? A variety of say um, sources of foods, different carbs, different Yeah, meats. so I get I like I have because I have a lot of like six meals a day, so oats, sweet potato, rice, yeah, basically. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Got carbs and then not really much fruit, a bit of berries. That's it. Okay. What about you? Um. Well, pretty much the you know what I eat. I I eat what I want, but it's not down to um. It's not down to my genetics, it's just down to understanding like nutrition like you, yeah. like you do um, and understanding like how the body works and everything because um, there's all mis so much misconceptions about food but I've seen you, why I mentioned that I asked you the question because I've seen your foods but yeah. I know I know that you eat tasty foods, that's the thing Right, okay That's the thing, I know okay. you eat tasty foods, you don't eat bland foods No, so I obviously like as you get further and further into the show I don't eat like a lot of sauces like I wouldn't I'd take out things like even chopped tomatoes and things like that um, because of the sugars yeah. but 
Yeah, I eat a variety. So like for like proteins, like eggs, fish, beef, chicken, turkey, tuna, salmon. Like get your oily fats in there as mm. well. Um, nuts, like walnuts, avocados for your fats. Um, so yeah, just using a lot of spices and seasonings, and the air fryer literally saved me so much in prep. Uh, it's just about where you cook things as well, like the slow cook is really good. Yeah. Yeah. It smells great though. It smells. It's come and smell it, honestly. Mm. It's a bit stuck. That looks a bit overdone. It's difficult to to like cook on like uh was it induction oven, mm. yeah, induction cooker. Look! What's it done to the air fryer? Yeah, it's a lot of energy, I can tell. Right, yeah. Oh. Cool. Yeah. So we're just going to cook the salsa off, right? Yeah. Definitely yeah. on. Yeah. I'll Wait, turn it down a bit. <laughs> that's like, honestly, that's so cooked with that one, isn't it? Like, it's crazy. So you tell all, all that texture, right? Yep. So you've got like the rice, which is like rice, and then chicken is like crispy. crispy. That's crunchy. Chips as well. Chips, crunchy with a soft middle, and then you've got Some like a dip as well. Coconut. So, milk. yeah. Perfect. Um, yeah. Chicken done. Chicken's done. Think so? Let's check that. I turned it off. So, up, so. Up. this up now, I'm going to serve it. Can't wait to try this, to be honest. Like, can I just say, look at all them, like, there's like juices, like, it's just so, yeah, I've been doing it wrong all this time. <laughs> I'm going to let you serve it professionally. <laughs> I've not done much cooking this time, but I'm going to take that time out. <laughs> So we've got a lot of rice here for obviously 200 gram. 200 gram this is like one portion for me. <laughs> Go to two portions. Can I do another one? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Right. I never thought of putting um, kidney beans in rice before. Mm. How many spoons did you put on that one? Uh, two. two. There's another one on the plate. Yeah. So big one. This is my portion. Yep, go on. Three, 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 three. Three for me. Yep. It's only 200 grams. You have to all of that for this, haven't you? I know. Look, we'll just do that for now. Save that one good. They're like the perfect chip. You it convince me. Nice. Yeah. You convince me. I bet you'll do it like that. I'll do it like that all the time now. Um, okay, so we've got the rice, the chicken, the salsa. And then on the side, I'm going to put the coconut yogurt. Yep. Yeah. Is there a little, what about like a little a, a pot? So we're going to have this dip for dipping the chips in, yeah? So should we maybe like put them in a bowl? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, 
All of them? Are we half in them? Um, half in them. We're half in them. Collect size portions. <laughs> Everyone's going to think I eat loads after this. I have to do that. So would you normally have this like as a regular thing? Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah? Yeah. So these are just regular potatoes, not sweet potatoes, but you can obviously do it with either. These are more fast releasing, so this would be a good post workout meal, I think. Yeah. What's your favourite thing to train when you work out? Like, what's your favourite day? My favourite day is probably um, leg day at the moment. Yeah. But it depends. When, um, when I'm on prep, it's like chest day changes, doesn't it? Is that because you get to lay down? Because I get so tired when I'm doing legs and I'm, yeah. I'm drained of energy. <clears throat> I think if you get to lay down, it's now as it looks like it. Yeah. So, right, we're going to have to eat this real quick. Yeah. Right, so we've got, honestly, this taste, smell, well, don't taste, I can't wait to taste it. Smells really good, so mm. well done. Um, I just watched, to be honest, you did it all. <laughs> Um, so we've got jerk chicken, flavoured yeah. chicken, yeah, jerk flavoured chicken, uh, breasts, uh, which was left to marinate for like ten few, minutes, yeah, yeah, for ten minutes or so. But you can leave it on, you can leave it overnight, or and it will infuse even more, so you taste the flavour you know, overnight or a few hours, two hours to infuse that. And we've got rice and peas, yep, and with the salsa, salsa, and jerk fries. And, and jerk, and, yeah, yeah, jerk and herb fries. Jerk and herb fries, jerk chicken, uh, bean uh, rice with a salsa and a dairy free coconut dip. Yeah. Right, so thank you for watching this episode, guys. Um, let us know what else you'd like us to cook. Um, I'm sure we're back. Um, is there anything else you want to add to that? Um, I yeah. can't wait to eat. Oh. <laughs> I would say send in your like request for us to like to cook the next time. Yeah. They might want to see us to cook um, like a really quick, efficient um, jerk. Was it what we wanted for curry? Curry, curry, curry yeah, curry. Yeah, curry I'm down for that. Awesome. Definitely. Definitely. Great. Okay.